Hey guys, what's up? Bargain Madobo here, doing a video I got from Mega Dance Y9, the top three comic book games. I love superheroes. Ever since I was small, I've always loved superheroes. What? Which one's my favorite? Good question. Mm, good cocoa. But anyway, back on track. So, comic book games. This is something I plan to look at more in the future. I plan to do more of this. Heck, I could do multiple, multiple videos about comic book games, let alone just one video about three. But to get started, here's X-Men Destiny on the Xbox 360. What? Come on, it's a great game. <sighs> Some people just can't be pleased. Despite all the hate it does get, I love X-Men Destiny. So you get to pick one of three people and one of three powers and gradually build on that power from there. You can side with the X-Men or the Brotherhood. Really, what's not to love about this game? I'm serious, it's great. The combat, although repetitive, is pretty fun. There are no puzzles or quick time events to speak of, and the story evolves pretty well. To be fair, I love this game, but then again, that should be no surprise. Come on, look at who you're talking to. Your results may vary, but for me, this game is great and doesn't deserve all the hate it got. But again, look at who you're talking to, so I guess it's just up to the person. We'll just have to agree to disagree. So there you go. Despite the hate that game gets, I have a good time with it. I do plan to beat it. Heck, right now I'm on the final boss, but uh, we'll get there eventually. But anyway, next up on the list we have Spider-Man Web of Shadows on Xbox 360. Oh, better reaction this time. When choosing the games for this video, it came really close down between Spider-Man Friend or Foe and this game. Well, Spider-Man Friend or Foe is a lot funnier, and this one has a much more serious, more, shall we say, adult tone. So it has that going for it at least. In this game, there are two paths to choose from, the red path and the black path. Basically, Spider-Man gets a weaker symbiote suit so he can still control himself, but choosing the black suit can still give you the darker outcomes. Now, you can switch between the two suits on the fly and each suit has different benefits. The red suit has faster combat and allows you to generate health, while the black suit has stronger combat but does not regenerate health, while the black suit allows you to throw cars as well. So, you'll need to switch between this fifth situation, but you'll want to side with one suit or the other depending on which ending you want. On top of that, you can also side with heroes or villains, depending on your choices, and this all leads to the good or bad ending in the game. I won't say which is which, though. But let's just say you can do fighting on the ground, fighting in the air, on the walls, anywhere you can fight, you're gonna fight, you're gonna do a lot of it. There's a lot of side quests in the game, and there's stuff to level up. Really, this is a great game, but you wanna spend some time with it, because this is gonna take a while to beat. But, if you devote the time to it, rest assured, you are in for one heck of a ride. So strap in! Like I said, it was a really close tie between that one and Spider-Man Friend or Foe, but I chose that one because... whatever, I can do Friend or Foe later. But anyway, down in the last game, here we have Superman Returns on Xbox 360. Silence! Superman Returns is a great Superman game. Okay, fine, it's not the greatest Superman game. Yes, there is a really good one that we'll talk about later. But here, this one's not bad. I mean, look at it. You get to fly around and fight things as Superman, and you're actually invincible for a change. Yes, you heard right. Superman is invincible. It's Metropolis that has health, but there's this little code you can put in that it won't be destroyed, so you can't really lose. For some, that's boring, but for me, that's like the greatest way to play the game, with cheats. Yeah, I'm a dirty cheater, I don't care what you say, but just so you know, for this footage, I did not use any cheats. Flying around, fighting monsters, picking things up and throwing them, characters from the comics and from the movie, what's not to love? Well, apparently a lot of things, but who cares? You guys know me by now, so I'm not going to say it again. Okay, fine, I will. You know who you're talking to here. But anyway, all that to say this game is not as bad as the papers say it is. Yes, granted, it could have been better, but so could every game. Every game could have been better. There's very few games that need no improvements. Let's be real. Well, there you have it. There's three of my favorite comic book games, and those aren't the only ones I love. And heck, like I said, I'm going to revisit this later on, but there we go for now. So what are your top three favorite comic book games? Let me know in the comments, or heck, better yet, make your own video. I'd love to see what you think. For now, see you guys later. Hobo out!